Yes, right now I'm joined by producer slash DJ Adam R. How are you, sir? Um, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thanks for having me down. All good, man. I had to get you down because you've got a new body of work, 2023, which is your debut album, right? It is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so before we get into all of that stuff, I don't know nothing about your history, your background or nothing, so we're going to go straight into the basics. Like, how did you get into music? Tell us your story, man. Ooh, um, right, we're going way back now. Like, yeah. um, So, uh, I grew up in South London. Um, I had a mate in that lived in South Nord. I used to go down the estate that he lived on down there and, and hang about and whatnot. I think one day he um, introduced me to Fruity Loops, which it was back then. But um, that was it, really. That's how, that's how I got into sort of the production side of things and learning. And it, it took me straight away. Like, I was like, this is crazy. And um, then it took me a, a long time sort of perfecting it to actually get good at it. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, um, but yeah, that's generally, that's how I got into it, really. The, the memory that I can remember. Okay. So... What do you make beats on now? Is it still fruity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, FL. you kept it with image line. Yeah, I stuck with. Well, do you know what? I had a, I did have reason for a bit. Didn't really like it. Couple of like um, a mate of mine, Nutty P, he used um, Cubase. Oh yeah. Which I just found mad. And another mate of mine uh, used Logic. And I'd done a sound engineering degree like a while back at um, uh, Middlesex University, and that was all Logic and stuff there. So. It was, I, I know a bit about it, but I just feel like FL for me is my comfort zone, you know? Oh, so what, you, you're an engineer as well, yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sort, yeah. See, when you say you did a sound engineering course, it's starting to make sense now, because mm. your rhythm slap. They slap, they slap still. And I can't say that about everyone's grand rhythms. <laughs> so um, kudos for getting the, um, the sound correctly attended to. Um, so yeah, like, you see, for me, I come across your music, yeah? Like, um, I don't know, I'm just receiving loads of different vocals and I'm just seeing Adamar. If it's not Adamar, it's Adamar and a flex. Yeah. So, yeah. you and a flex have been doing a lot of good work. Yeah. Um, especially with the vocal stuff. How did you lot meet? What's the connection between you two? So, uh, F-Lex, um, dubstep. I met through dubstep, really. Okay. So, I used to, initially, I started sort of making dubstep music. But um, and I was really into that, and I was like, I was in the scene. I knew a lot of people in the scene, but um, it never really took off for me in that, yeah. you know. And um, but that was how I met I met uh, FLEX at a couple of different raves, I think. And um, we just we just became mates. Didn't really talk for a, a while, but uh, when I got back into the grime stuff, I just started sending him a few bits, and we went from there. I think we made we made an instrumental release. Um, what was it called? Pressure. A few years back, I think 2021. And we made it, like it was an 11 tracker or something. We made it in two weeks. Like it was crazy. We were just churning out beats back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And um, yeah, man. So we have a good sort of relationship and can make beats together quite easy. Yeah, man. You two definitely have a good chemistry and working relationship, man. And um, yeah, you lot have been doing your thing, man. Mm. Um, so... The album, 2023. Yeah. Why now? Why did you think this is the time for me to put a body of work together instead of, I don't know, an EP or some singles? Yeah. Why, why a body of work? Um, you know, I just, it was, it was something I had, I've done a few little things before. So I've done, it was my idea to put something together with me and FLEX before we'd done a purpose. And I don't think it's volume one, but it was, we've done something called Purpose and we got MCs together and put them on it and sort of made a small body of work there. And I just I just prefer to work with artists and work with MCs. I just, it finalizes music for me. Like it gives me something else. I can happily make instrumentals, but you know, and as a DJ, you can mix your instrumentals. But for me, I just have to get a vocalist or an MC on something for me to really feel like it's it's something you know like it's it's all well and good having a i make a instrumental and go oh, it slaps big tune but if you can get someone to bless it and they do it well then um 
yeah, man, that's that's the best thing for me. So for, for at the moment, I thought I need to put something together with a lot of the people I've worked with on singles and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've done a lot of favours for people and thought, you know, let's call some back in and yeah, let's yeah. get um, let's get some people on a project that I'm really going to push and really try and make it a decent bit of work. And yeah, I was working on it since the towards the end of last year. So it took a while to put it together. Okay, what's the um, what's the difficulty in putting this together? Because listen, <laughs> I ain't even gonna. I think everyone knows it. Yeah, because <laughs> you know I, I, I've got something coming, but it's not about me right now. But I yeah. can relate to some issues. I don't know if you've ever had you know sessions booked where one man might turn up but the yeah. other guy didn't. Yeah. Or you, you had those, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so so all right, talk us through, yeah, man. So what, that's what, what I mean. So what's you, the pass out? You, you know, the... you know. So oh, yeah. it's like the test is. You know, I don't want to slander the MCs because the <laughs> MCs for me are what what make like make make the scene and make certain things. You know, um, and but it can be a test to bring MCs together to get things done. Mm -hmm. like, so you're constantly waiting for things. And um, I mean, I had I had songs started and then uh, they could have been sort of almost finished, but not finished for maybe five months. And then I'd start a song with someone else and the song was done within, you know, three weeks, like, or even less time. So sometimes you get the turnarounds like, bang. And then other times you're waiting for this, waiting for that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I haven't got this. And it's um, constantly contacting people and trying to find that um, fine line without hassling someone. And being a pest and being and a annoying, pest, yeah. yeah. Like, so in trying not to annoy someone, but at the same time, just get them to get... <laughs> done what you need done isn't it like now be annoying man be yeah. annoying bruv because <laughs> listen that's how it's gonna get done isn't it yeah you know mcs can you know obviously big mcs we love you and all that but sometimes yeah. you guys can be a bit scatterbrainy <laughs> and you know <laughs> you know convenient forgetfulness you know when you're you're giving man the zips and the packs and then yeah. it's like cool i just want a 116 but that 116 yeah. might take a couple of weeks yeah. and the next man might do a whole tune by themselves and just slap it out but that 16 mm -hmm. uh might take longer but you know what like you said, it's a test. Yeah. And um, as a producer, you've got to have patience, isn't it? Yeah, massively. Whether that be a man sending you a 16 for your project or even you give a man beat. Yeah. Give a man a beat. Why for that? Give a man instrumental. <laughs> and, uh, and then, Ra, you're waiting for the tune to come out. And I don't know, for me, mm. I've waited a year. Yeah. Two plus, And it finally comes out or it doesn't come out. So... I'm glad yeah. that you identified that, you know, as a producer. Some tracks didn't make it. Oh yeah? Like, but they're good tracks. Like, so I'm not saying they didn't make it. They just didn't make it because they, we ain't got finished yet. Okay, so, so what is that a thing where- might have to come at another time, another yeah. single or another project or something, but they're still there. But yeah, unfortunately, I won't name names. <laughs> like, but yeah. yeah, yeah, you know how it goes. So <laughs> why the name 2023? Um, do you know what? I don't even really remember how I came up with it. I was just, I think I was going through things that I'd named projects before and trying to come up with concepts and this and that. And um, eventually I thought, you know what? It's 2023 came, I mean, it was 20, no, it was actually, tell a lie. It was actually called 2022 at first because I started it in 2022. And Obviously I, it's gone into 2023 yeah, now. I already had some tracks and I thought I could get this done. And then, said to myself why am i rushing it i want this to be i want it to be proper like don't rush it so changed it to 2023 but the um thing was it's just a simple name it's obviously the year that we're in 2023 the music that i worked on in 2023 the music the artists that i've worked with in 2023 who knows i might release a 2024 do you know what i mean so at least that way i don't have to think um too hard on the names <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so um You've got a plethora of artists on there from Rival, or just Rival, should I say, Joe mm. Fire, Big Movie, XP, uh, Tiny the Godfather, J Wing, Loon, Dino, a bunch of artists. Yeah. What made you want to select these artists? Because you've worked with more than that. So, mm. how did you whittle it down? Like, okay, these are the guys I want on my debut project, and why? Um, I think more just the. So some tunes I got back 
and um, I was like, oh, I don't know, like maybe I'm not sure about that. Like I'm very honest. Like so, any artist that works with me just know I'll I'll be honest. I think that's the best way to be. So if I don't like it, I'm gonna say like I think you can do better or mm. or whatnot. So some didn't make it. Um, Joe, I got massive respect for Joe. So and we've got a project coming out soon. So. Yeah working with him it's a no-brainer he was always going to be on there rival i rate rival massively i think he's a quality mc like i loved his um i loved the work that he, the works that he's brought out he had one of the biggest tapes last year i think it was definitely yeah so i, I wanted to get him on there mm. um, movie again he's a he's a good guy he's also linked with like rhythm rollers with me um guys like muscle d i've done a few bits with him he's a nice guy i wanted him on there i like what he's about um Loon, I mean, it's more so just a lot of it's to do with me feeling like the artist as well. Like I think you're you're good. I want you on there, so I'll I'll just contact people and put out a shout. Like, what do you think? Do you want to be involved in this? Have a listen to some tunes. Pick one if you like one. Let's see what we can do. Um, in general, yeah, I'll just work with anyone that I think like is like-minded to myself, likes to make music, wants to make good music, and. Um, and we can work. We'll get them on there. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sick, simple out, straight to the point. All right, so the project's out. What's the feedback like been for you, man? How's people been um, taken to it? Feedback's been good, man. Like it's it's done well. Like it's, it's selling a bit on uh, certain websites. It's the streaming numbers have been good. I was on another radio show the other day doing an interview. Um, Sorry, you can pick um, them up. We got Spiral. Yeah, we got Spire. Um, obviously, I'm on here as well. So feedback's been good from socials, from like, you know, like fans, listeners, whatever you want to call them. It's, yeah, it's typically like it's going well. I'm happy, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy. Yeah. No, that's good, man. I, I, you know, like I'm about to release my thing and I can imagine what it must be like for you in terms of working towards this thing. And I don't know. I feel like I'll probably have the feeling where like a burden's off my chest. Like, oh. oh, massively. Yeah? Is Mass- that, yeah? Mate, massively. Like it, at times it was just, it became so stressful when you just kind of think, I just want to get this done now. I just mm. want to get this finished. And it did get like that. So when it actually was all done, artwork, everything's finished, tunes were done, mixed sent sounds. off, mixed, mastered. Yeah. I was like, Phew. like that woo-saw moment. You know? like, <laughs> I, I was, that's it. It's done. Sweet. Like, let's just move on now yeah right. man all right cool so the project's out right now what's what's next man what's the future for adamar so i uh, mentioned already i've got a project that's coming out called levels with joe fire so it's solely just produced by me um i think we've got about eight or nine tracks on there maybe mm-hmm. um that's called levels that'll be out around sort of halloween time i think uh, I've got three or four tracks on D Power's upcoming Graphene 4. Mm-hmm. Couple of bits um, with Cozzy. Um, I've got something with Wiley, Cruz Leon, and Frankie Stay Woke. That's like a single, I think. Um, but yeah, man, just keep on, you know, I'm going to keep on doing these little things, producing for people, you know, and um, getting on their projects. And hopefully i'm looking to do another project as well like at some point are you going straight back in yeah yeah definitely and i've got i had something lined up with flex as well but just been that got put on the back burner for my project but um hopefully we'll get that sorted because we've got loads of music there we just need to get it out to the the artists now and get yeah get some stuff recorded all right all right and um lastly because it's not just your tune but um i gotta mention it because you're here man and I think it's one of the best tunes of the year. OT Trips. <laughs> yeah, man. With Cruz Leone, produced by yourself and a flex. Yes. Um, big up on that. How did that come about? And um, I definitely want to hear some more works between you three. Yeah, mate, I'd like to as well. Cruz is a busy man like, at the moment. He's, definitely he's getting busier. Well. He's, getting, mm-hmm. he's getting busy. Um, but the tune slaps like massively. So me and me and Flex made the instrumental two... 2021 I think can't remember the name of it um, I sent a few bits to Cruz mm-hmm. that was one of them and he whatsapped me um, whatsapped me back probably about a week later basically with the whole concept the OT Trips tune like one verse the, the hook I played it in my car and I was like yeah this is mad 
like this, this is crazy and um but it took a long while for it to come out like a long long time and um but that's generally just how it came about I literally sent him the track crew's done his thing on it um and it all sort of stemmed and just went from there really yeah and video the, was sick he came video down to my sick, bits it's looking like, mad the video's crazy still yeah, like that. he went everywhere for that like he was um that was crazy yeah he just pulled up he rung me like doesn't matter I'll just like i'll just pull up i'll pull up we're just going everywhere in the car so i'll just pull up like he was literally spent the whole day driving around london mad man like so um, yeah big him up man so it's, it's a massive tune it's doing really well it's doing a lot of numbers so yep even and the re-whip as well yeah really so good. yeah man that's that's what i'm about to get into so Thank you for coming down for the interview, but uh, we ain't done yet. <laughs> um, we've got Adam in the building. He's going to get into a guest mix for me, running some bits and pieces, some instrumentals, maybe some vocals, maybe some exclusives, all the above. But um, before we get into this wonderful guest mix by Adam I've got to play OT Trips, uh, the rewit. Do you, yeah. Would you like to introduce this track for us, please? So this is OT Trips, the rewit. Uh, produced by myself and Flex. Flex. I won't say all the features because there's too many, but yeah, this is the re-whip OT trips. All right, let's get into this and don't go nowhere. Keep it mode. <laughs> 